Hey guys, Multigame Master one here, and welcome to my next Let's Play, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. This is a platformer game that was developed and published by Sonic Team and Sega, and was released in 1994. I will be completing this game 100% by collecting all 7 Chaos Emeralds, so let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? As soon as I get rid of this, sorry about that, <laughs> let's get started. Ah, cutscene. I think this is the first ever Sonic game in which a cutscene is introduced, but I'm not entirely sure of that. Sonic showing off as usual. Oh! Well, that's what you get for being too careless, Sonic. And we have our emerald stolen by Knuckles the Echidna over there. Now, why did all of that just happen? Well, there's actually an interesting story behind it, and this is introduced in the Japanese manual. After the events of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Death Egg crashes on a floating island, plunging it into the ocean below. When Dr. Eggman lands on this island, he discovers that the island itself has mysterious properties, including the ability to levitate in the sky with the mysterious power of a stone known as the Master Emerald. Once Dr. Eggman makes this discovery, he sets out to take the Master Emerald and use its power to bring the Death Egg back into orbit. Meanwhile, Knuckles is watching the Master Emerald as well as the Chaos Emeralds, when suddenly a violent earthquake occurs, throwing him up into the air. Once he regains himself, Knuckles realizes that the Chaos Emeralds are gone. He also sees the Death Egg, which reminds him of ancient times in which a dragon tried to destroy the whole entire world. Knuckles sets out to destroy the Death Egg, but then encounters Dr. Eggman, who informs him that not only is a meddlesome blue hedgehog by the name of Sonic attempting to interrupt his research of the Death Egg, but is also planning to steal the Chaos Emeralds and use them for his own. Duped by this, Knuckles decides to find Sonic and take him down, and thus Dr. Eggman was successful in his ability to lie. Meanwhile, on another distant island, Tails picks up a reading from the Emerald itself with his invention known as the Jewel Radar. He decides to consult with Sonic about this. Sonic wakes up from his nap and picks up a ring with ancient letters off of the ground. This reminds him of ancient times in which an ancient civilization tried to obtain the Mysterious Stone's power and use it for their own, but it was then wiped out in an instant, unfortunately. I think this stone is the Master Emerald, by the way. Anyway, it was theorized that the Kami descended from the heavens above and reshaped their territory into a floating island to prevent the misuse of the Mysterious Stone ever again. Once Sonic and Tails make this discovery, they travel to the floating island and that's how their adventure begins here. Now without further ado, let's get on with the gameplay. So we have our first level here, Angel Island, and I'm liking the level already. Waterfalls, giant trees, of course it'd be even better without the Batniks. But hey, that's Dr. Eggman for you. Let's see what's down here. You see this giant ring here, by the way, guys? This will take you into a special stage in which you can get a Chaos Emerald. Let's jump on in. But because I'm extremely paranoid about getting all of the Chaos Emeralds without messing up and wasting time, I'm gonna go ahead and make a safe state here so that if I do mess up, we can just replay to the point in which I saved and will therefore have to restart this special stage. No problem. And I will be keeping track of the amount of retries it takes me to complete each special stage, should issues like those come up. Now, let's get started. So in this special stage, what you need to do to get the Chaos Emerald is to find and touch all of the blue spheres. However, you should note that as you touch the blue spheres, they will turn into red spheres. Do not touch the red spheres, otherwise you will be taken out of the special stage. You'll also want to watch out for those silver spheres over there because they will push you around if you bump into them. Also, if you enclose a group of spheres like this in a circle, you'll be given some rings. It's entirely optional for you to get these rings, but basically what happens is if you collect 50 rings, you'll be given a continue, but if you grab all the rings within a special stage, well, you'll see what happens later. Also, it is recommended that you complete the special stages as quickly as possible because you will find that in time you'll start to move a little bit faster, making things a little bit more difficult. With all that said, I'm going to stay quiet and concentrate here because this does require a deep amount of concentration. Continue as you heard from that sound, 50 rings, and there's a perfect notification that lets you know that you have gotten all of the rings within the special stage. And speaking of special stages, we've completed the first one and there's our first Chaos Emerald. One down and six left. Now I was explaining earlier about rings. 
If you collect 50 rings within a special stage, you'll be given a continue, but if you grab all of the rings within a special stage, you'll be given 50,000 points, and for every 50,000 points, you'll be given an extra life, as you just heard. It's entirely optional for you to get the rings from each special stage, as I said earlier, but you can choose to do so yourself if you wish for an even greater challenge on yourself than what you already have. Anyhow, let's get a move on. Tails, how did you grab that before me? Gosh darn it, Tails. Invincibility for the win. This will surely protect us. Okay, let's see what's up here. Checkpoint, in case we need to restart our progress for when we lose a life. I want to try to get up there. Rings. And an extra life right here. That's awesome. I want to get through the giant tree up ahead flawlessly, so I'm just going to get some more speed and momentum here. Zoom! Sorry, Tails. Something's happening here. Oh, hi, Fire Breath. That's the name of the first mini boss, by the way. What's happening? Oh my god. The whole entire island is on fire. That's a rather interesting transition, by the way. Hey, look, something special here. So for every 50 rings, if you touch a checkpoint, you'll be taken into this special stage, or bonus stage, rather, in which you'll be able to find a huge gumball machine and get all sorts of prizes from it, such as power-ups, rings, and even an extra life in there. Let's see what I can get here. Hmm, so far not having any good luck. I really want an extra life from there. The black bubbles, you can just bounce around on, by the way. Oh, one up! I got it. Cool. Okay, let's get a move on and away from this burning island. But of course, there are some things that we can find down here, such as this. Big ring, which takes us to the special stage. Let's get it started. But first, let me make a safe state. There we go. Now we can get started. Here we go, number two. Concentration time. That's the wrong way. Here's the way. Been a while since I played this game, guys. Sorry if I messed up here and there. Nope, wrong way again. Is it this way? It is this way. This should be easy. And done. Second stage complete. Second emerald acquired. Two down and five left. Look at that score. Isn't it just awesome? Extra life. That's what I like to hear. As well as that continue. Right, let's continue. Want to be careful here, don't want to die here. Dying on a first level? I mean, come on. How's that even possible? The background is pretty awesome, by the way, even though it's just a bunch of fire. Fire shield here. Gonna need that. There are, of course, some other power-ups as well. 
So here's the first mini boss again, Fire Breath. If you have the Fire Shield, it's easy for you to take him out. But if you don't have the Fire Shield, then it's just going to complicate things. And also at the end, there will be instances in which item boxes like that will pop up out of the ground. I don't remember exactly where the hidden item boxes are at the end of each stage, but we'll take what we can get. That's the first act accomplished. Let's get on with the second one. Zoom! Oops, special stage. Save state. And now let's continue. I'm playing this on an Xbox 360 by the way guys, in case you were wondering. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is really starting to give me a seizure. It's starting to make me feel a bit sick. But can you blame me? I mean, everything is just way too fast, and the colors, they just blend so well. There, third special stage complete, and there's our third emerald. That was challenging, even more challenging than the last, but we got through it. By the way guys, I'm sorry if I stutter at certain parts within the commentary or have to stay quiet. It's been a very long time since I recorded commentary over my videos. You guys understand. And plus, certain parts of the game, this game rather, will require a deep amount of concentration. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what's over here. We'll go this way for now. And as usual, Tails gets left behind. Gosh darn it, Tails, learn to keep up. Okay, so far so good. We need a way to get through here. A switch that causes the water to drain. Don't really know how that happens, but the island is mysterious in its own way, and I get pushed back by that spring. That's really, really wonderful. Electric shield. I forgot to explain about the different power ups, by the way, guys. So the water shield will cause you to survive in water, and it will allow you to bounce. Fire shields will protect you from fire and give you a short fire burst dash. And electric shields will cause you to do a double jump and attract nearby rings. Special stage, save state, gotta take that extra safety precaution, you know? Let's do this. Oh god, this special stage. It gave me so much trouble in the past. I'm hoping it won't do it again now. Okay, spheres, spheres, where are the spheres? Good thing I have safe states. I'll be right back, guys.
Dear Lord, please help me. At least I got them this time. Ow! I can just do that. Okay, the last three, the last three, the last three. I remember seeing them. Oh, I see them. That was complete crap. Okay, trying something a little bit different here, guys. Now, if I could just find the group of four. If I could just find them. Where the heck are they? Thank you! Finally! Jeez! I don't know how many tries that took me, by the way, guys. Like, four or five. I'll look back in the recording and update you guys as to how many retries it took me. That was just an absolute nightmare for me. But I do like challenges in video games. And that was definitely challenging. Oh. I'll take that extra life, that continue, and that fourth chaos emerald. Thank you. Alright, let's continue. Gotta try to get myself together here. Alright, gonna be careful. Easy does it. I'll take this, because it may be useful. Special stage, I'm not even gonna bother. If there comes a point in which I approach danger, like low lives, or if I need a power-up or something, then I will be visiting those special stages, but for now, I'm just gonna keep moving. Well, something's gonna happen here. Where's Tails? There you are, Tails. Alright, let's go. Well, we have that. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. So up there you see that there's a flying battery blimp, and you just want to dodge the explosives, unlike what Tails is doing. Gosh darn it, Tails, keep up! Oh, I feel so bad for Tails. Do you guys feel bad for Tails? Comment below if you do. Or if you don't. Anyway, if you keep running, you'll be able to dodge the explosives. What is that? Okay, something is definitely happening here. Oh, hi Eggman, how are you doing? About to take you down now. So this is the main boss, the first main boss, the Flamecraft, and again, it's recommended that you have a fire shield so that you can take it out easily. If you don't have a fire shield, then it's just going to complicate things. Once you defeat Dr. Eggman, there is a flying capsule up there, which you can hit to potentially end the level. 
And with that guys, that is Angel Island, and therefore, that is the end of the first part of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like below the video if you did. I'm Multigame Master one and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh, something else happening? Knuckles, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Darn you, Knuckles!